Coming up next, it is a UFC welterweight championship showdown between Leon Edwards and Kamaru Usman. So here he is, the Nigerian Nightmare, and you can also now call him the UFC welterweight champion. He had to go 10-0 in the UFC to finally realize that UFC belt, beat Tyron Woodley, and establish himself as the standard at 170 pounds. And he never lost track of what was out in front of him. Even though he had to win 10 fights, Marlon Guzman understood that he would do whatever it took to become UFC champion, and when he got that opportunity, it was the wrestling, the cardio, and the ability to follow the game plan set out in front of him by Henry Hoop and Greg Jones that allowed him to link Tyron Woodley on the scorecard and win that welterweight championship. Unbelievable performance by Usman. Truly one of the hardest workers in the game, and if you watch that Woodley fight, you get the sense that it is going to take a Herculean effort for somebody to dethrone the new hunted at 170 pounds from the all right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing rage, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in rage, he's getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. What you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. All right, now let's get you our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Walter White Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 20 wins, two losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Leon Rocky Edwards. UFC belt online. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. home base team over the arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and 18,000 plus are expected on hand tonight for what should be an epic UFC live event. It is going to be a phenomenal fight night in a fantastic arena. T-Mobile Arena, the home of the UFC. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. 
Oh, found the home for that left hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Edwards gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. He loaded up there on that high kick. That shot blocked by Edwards. Oh! Play from Kamar Usman as he lands yet again there. Kamar Usman showed in the Kobe Covington fight, not only is he the best welterweight in the world, he may just be the toughest welterweight in the world because he went through the fire in order to retain that title. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? There's no give on that leg kick. Kick home, and now his opponent in a roll of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. You get that much nice and high, and now he's got to hurt bad. Back to the feet. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Oh, man, look at that one body shot. Did that show you the power, and the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. I mean, geez, Louise. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, big punch land. Under a minute now to go in round one. Edwards gets stung by that leg kick. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of Struck over the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and you come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed. Great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, here we go with the start of round two. Leon Edwards. You ready? And that man, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Chris Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurt people bad. If this guy has his opponent hurt very bad, he'll get it. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Edwards gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Oh! Huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Ooh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet! Oh, he might be out! Gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. So 67 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Well, six out of every 10, ten strikes roughly without a mark landing percent accuracy against Leon Edwards. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice good series of kicks by him there. Oh! Another knockdown! strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight.
Well, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their form. Bruce Buffer has Ladies the official the decision. Referee, Eve Levine, has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. UFC welterweight champion. Those words sound good. He's going to enjoy watching this one back. There's a new king at 170 pounds. There is nothing better than hearing and new. It's almost like the weight has been lifted off of your shoulders. The journey is complete.